Hi guys, Chris here, and you are watching Here We Are Running. Now, if you watched my review of the Hoka Oni Oni Arahi 4, which I did ooh, probably a good few months ago now, you'll know that when I ran in this shoe, I got a blister. It is only on the right hand side, and it was on the inside of the foot, where my foot rubbed the, 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 the upper, I guess, around here. Uh, first time I've ever worn a running shoe where I was getting blister on a consistent basis like that. And it happened very soon into a run, maybe five to seven kilometers. And it wasn't good. <laughs> I really, really, really put me off this shoe. And I wasn't alone. That review video went out and if you look at it, there's lots of comments with people suffering the same thing. So I thought, well, firstly, what's causing it? But I never really got to the bottom of that. But then I was also thinking, well, what can I do to try and make sure that I can actually get some runs out of this shoe without being in discomfort from the blistering? And I, I struggled, firstly, to actually find anything that would really help. I'd try anti-blister socks. Oh, I tried various things. Um, but the two things I have done, and they have helped, and they've allowed me now to run over 200 miles in this shoe. So, uh, I thought I would make this video, I would share with you what those two things are, uh, in case you have any blistering problems with your running shoes, or any shoes for that matter, uh, you might want to try the same thing. Now one thing was quite a simple thing. All I did was I removed the insole. Now the insole didn't give you much in these shoes, very thin insole, uh, like you get in quite a lot of running shoes. It didn't give much and by just removing it, it just created a little bit more space in there, but it didn't solve the problem on its own. But that was the first thing I did. And the second thing I did, uh, which is really what this video is about, is that I found out and got hold of a product uh, called Pelitech. Now this product, it's a small uh, pad. I'll get one out so you can see. So there it is. It's a, as you can see, it's a round pad made up of a number of different materials. And it's got a self-adhesive back to it. Now you stick it into your shoe on the side of the shoe or the base of the shoe or wherever it is that you're getting the blister. So this is going to be between the shoe and your foot. So for, in my case, um, I've stuck two of these on the inside in the area around here where I get that blister. And in doing that, it has made an amazing difference. It's, it's allowed me to run and to run some reasonable distances in this shoe uh, without getting a blister. Now, the longest distance I've run since I've been doing this is about 24 kilometers, so over half marathon distance. I've got to admit, most of my runs are shorter than that when I've been using this shoe. They've been more in the sort of five, 10K uh, distance. But, um, having said that, even when I went to 24 kilometers, I did not get a blister when I was using these, the Pelitec uh, anti-blister pads in the shoe. So that is my experience of them. Um, I, I would be delighted to hear and put drop a comment below if you've used or heard of these before and if you've used them and what your experiences are so you can share that with everyone else that might be watching this video. Um, going back to the Arahi 4, uh, does that mean that I now enjoy running in this shoe? Mm. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> um, I, I am running in it, it is part of my rotation. Uh, I maybe get one run a week in this shoe. Uh, it, it, it's not my most favorite shoe let's put it that way there are other ones that I prefer a lot more but I am determined to get some value for money out of it by uh, by taking it up the distance a little bit and that's where these anti blister pads have really helped guys I'll leave you uh, there uh, I do hope you've enjoyed the video found it useful if you have please do hit the thumbs up button to give the video a like 
And if you're new around here, well, why not consider subscribing? We have regular running content. For now, guys, goodbye. <laughs>